Well, let's speak to Ona Erim from Istanbul. He's a political analyst and an author. Ona, good to have you with us. Uh, what do you make of this supposed threat by Trump and the fact that he chose to make it on Twitter rather than uh, discussing matters with Turkey through uh, the proper channels? Well, good evening. Uh, the tone of his uh, tone of his voice, the uh, the words that he used, the fact that he did this over Twitter, I guess uh, demolishes all known rules of diplomacy, uh, and actually the way to talk between two partners, two allies, and two uh, quote unquote strategic partners. Uh, it is it's been devastating to all of us since uh, early this morning in in Turkish hour. Uh, a lot of people didn't know really what to make of this. Uh, but to say the least, uh, it has, it's ungentlemanly like, it's unallied ship like, it's unfriendly, and to say the least, it's undiplomatic to have this tone to threat another country like this, let alone over social media. Yeah, and not just any old country. I mean, the, the U.S. Uh, is Turkey's ally in the fight against Daesh, and the two are strategic partners. The two are uh, NATO allies. So just how seriously uh, should this situation be taken? Well, knowing Trump's track record, I don't know how seriously we should take this. We have been often uh, faced with Trump's uh, statements, actually also his actions, that he would do one thing today and he would do exact opposite tomorrow or in days to come. So it's, you know, it's to all of us, it's, it's really a wonder how seriously we should take Trump, you know, in general and in a, in a crazy statement like this. But as you said, if I were to say some, if I were to pose a threat to anybody, even, even just another person, this would be punishable by law. Yet in here we have our quote unquote, unfortunately, the president of the U.S. Uh, putting a straight threat out to another country, to an ally, to a strategic partner, saying that it would destroy it economically if so and so did not happen. Uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, just, just by a street word, you know, one want to say, you know, who died and okay. made you the king of, 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 this, uh, of this area? Well, if, if, that's, um, if it is a direct threat to Turkey's economy, uh, what does that mean for Turkey's planned military operation that it, that it looks like it's very imminent in northern Syria? It, it does seem very imminent. Uh, President Erdogan has been saying this since day one. He has been repeating the same thing today, and he shall uh, very much so uh, tomorrow and, and days to come. If Turkey will have to choose between the shape of its economy and its security, it will choose its security. Uh, yes, it, it would have chosen it yesterday, it will choose it today, it will choose it tomorrow. There is no other way for Turkey because we are here as a country. We are talking about our next door neighbor, not like, the, not like DC or anywhere else where they could start throwing these threats over 5, 10, 15,000 miles away. Honor, good to speak with you. Thank you very much indeed for that. Honor, Erem there in Istanbul.